When you hear the word terrorist, a certain image comes to mind, and that image is almost always male. But there's a new face of terror. Young women are being recruited by groups like ISIS in some creative ways, and not just for martyrdom, but for marriage. And it just might be working. CNN's Stephanie Elam has more. There's leaning in, and then there's arming up. The idea that women can be involved in jihad is something that people still don't take as seriously as they should. Women around the world are now taking part in jihad in Nigeria, Syria, and now in America. The number of women willing to give their lives to terrorist extremists, experts say, increasing over the last 10 years. We've seen Western women going to jihad in Syria for about a year and a half now. Why now? Experts believe terror group organizers count on women from Europe, Canada, and the U.S. to get past terrorism intelligence agencies. It's Western women. They come with their Western passports. Um, they're going to fall under a radar screen. Majority of the women are going to go there to be traditional wives. But that's not always the case. Take American Shannon Conley. The 19-year-old is charged with conspiracy to provide material support to terrorists. She reportedly fell in love with an ISIS fighter online and allegedly was on her way to join him in Syria before officials picked her up in April. She was interviewed no fewer than nine times before her arrest by the FBI because she was scoping out a local church. Her attorney had no comment. Many of these women are radicalized at home, seduced on the Internet. How are they appealing? to these Western women. You don't have to convince that many. If somebody spams millions of people, you only need a certain number that are going to uh, respond to that. The scariest of prospects are the lone wolves, people acting on their own, like Roshanara Chowdhury in England. The King's College student dropped out of school just before graduation and tried to assassinate a member of the British Parliament for supporting the Iraq War. She was not radical. She didn't talk about jihad. She just secretly by herself downloaded a hundred sermons. Women, some fairly well known, are also using Twitter to recruit new members from the West. Like uh, Um Leith, who is one of the uh, premier female jihadis, she's British, and she's the one that keeps calling to women around the world, especially women in the Western countries, to come and join the global jihad. They think that they're doing something good for their community or their people. A darker side of the fairer sex, now wanted around the world. Stephanie Elam, CNN, Los Angeles.